Hello everyone, it's Emma of Fox, and welcome to the Lion Song. The first episode is free to play, and I will play them. I'll play each episode as I get them. And the first episode is about Wilma, who gets discovered by a professor. A professor, um, and she gets writer's block, and he sends her out into the cabin, and it's a choice game where you pick how, I think it's, you pick how the story goes. I've not played it, I've never heard of this game. I saw it on Steam and I had to play it. It seemed like a fun game to play. And I've not seen anyone else play it because I've never heard of this game. So let's get into the game and we'll see how this game goes together. Let's start. Episode 1. Silence. Milk, mil milk train station. Not sure if I said that right. I'm gonna get in the comments. That's not how you say it! Oh, am I supposed to do anything? Okay. But do you have enough socks? You need plenty of socks. It's very cold there. Mama, you packed the suitcase yourself. It's stuffed with socks. All aboard! All aboard for Vienna! You will write your mother, won't you? Every day, Papa, I promise. You're such a liar, but I love you anyway. All aboard! Last call for Vienna! Mama, let the boy go. He will get in trouble if he's late. My dear boy, take care. Take care. Wait, is it a boy or a girl? I said girl, so. Yes, Mama and Papa. You take care, too. Take care. Bye-bye. Wilma first left them on this very train. Now me. I said it was a girl because I saw in the picture that it was a girl before I started. So I may have been wrong. I'm probably saying his name wrong, too. Oh, I guess it is. Okay, Vienna. I'm not going to attempt to say that, but I could try mess a kick <laughs> myself. Arthur, where are you? You asked me to come to your office. Here I am, waiting. Maybe at last you want to talk. About us? Ooh. But you're so shy, Arthur. You don't know how to begin. Oh, don't be silly, Wilma. So Wilma is the girl. Okay, getting this clear. <laughs> you keep hoping it will happen. But it never will. What happened? And being together? I'm glad you're here. I just had to see you. Sorry I'm late. Why did you want to see me, Professor? Where have you been? I haven't been waiting long. Why did you want to see me, Professor? Please call me Arthur. Why did you want to see me? Well, to be quite honest, yes. Wilma, your performance at the salon it was quite incredible. The guests could not believe their ears. Oh yes, they seemed to enjoy the music. Oh yes, they seemed to enjoy the music. They want to hear more from you, Wilma. We need to keep up the mo mon <gasps> momentum. I cannot speak. <laughs> How is the new composition coming along? It's more difficult than the others. Your music is so new. It's, it, it's, I cannot speak and it's hard to read. It challenges, I think, no, I know that we are about to achieve something great here. The future of music. Arthur, I'm, we need to build on the success of your 
performances. We need to stop now. We'll squander this opportunity. We have to keep moving. Keep working. We have to establish your name. Well, I'm... That is... What is it? I've started a compos... I started comp... Comp... Composing it. But... But... Oh, Arthur, I'm stuck. I'm horribly, horribly stuck. I don't know how to complete it. Wilma, don't say that. We've come so far. Everything we've worked for. I... I can't bear to let you down. I know what's... I know what's wrong. It's the pressure from the Institute. Everyone... Clamor <laughs> clamoring for your attention, recognizing you on the street, and even more pr pressure from me. Vienna is a city. We can't change that. No, it's not you, Arthur. You said it yourself. It's momentum. i go with, you said it yourself. It's momentum. You need a change. That's clear. Listen. I have a cabin in the mountains. You will be able to work there. I can't accept that. Nonsense. You're teaching. Guiding me. You're helping with scholarship. You, you need time alone. The quiet. Yes, quiet. I'll take care of everything here. Arthur, I, I can't. I'm not asking. It's settled. A carriage will pick you up tomorrow. There are plenty of supplies in the cabin. Seems like it's going to be, like, scary or something. Pack lightly. You're not bringing your old violin, are you? Of course I am. Playing that old violin relaxes me. You have to walk the last part of the way. It's quite a hike. I'll manage. Very well. I do think this is part of this is for the best. You will be completely alone, no distractions. Somewhere in the Alps. Forest. Almost there. I don't know why I said it that way. Just a bit further. Forest. Just a few more steps. Why do I feel like something terribly is Terrible is gonna happen. What, what do I do now? Forest. Phew! I have finally arrived. That's it. That, that's it. Arthur's cab cabin. Oh, Arthur, I hope so much that you're right. And inspiration is waiting for me down there. Dark clouds hang over the mountains, almost as if they're waiting for something. The wind is growing stronger. It won't be long until the storm is here. I'd better hurry. Okay, then go to the cabin. Looks like a storm is brewing. It might be, it might just make it better. It, I it might just make it before it rain. Before the rain. I really feel like coming back and happen. at the, now the title shows up, The Lion's Song, Episode 1, Silence. Okay. Go on! I made, ju I made it just before the rain. Hopefully it will stop soon. The walk up here was excruciating. Phew. All right, Wilma. It's time to unpack your bag. Hmm. I'm supposed to say anything else. Oh, my composition. Outside. It has started to rain. How long will the storm continue? My violin. My old violin. Despite its battered appearance, it still has the most beautiful tone. The lamp casts a dim light. 
The flame danced quietly to the to and fro, and flares up briefly, briefly before subsiding. Cabin door locked. Pretty collection. A poetry book. There are several poems in it. There's big words in here. Relic of Menstall and a few other authors. Let's see. Ah, here it is. The Panther. I will read it later. Oh, my bag. I'm starving. There should be a sandwich in here somewhere. Music paper. Ah, here it is. Oh, a letter. Who's it from? says open upon arrival my dear Wilma I hope you had a trouble-free journey I'm sure you have started writing already inspired by the beautiful surroundings read on however I have confessed I have a confession to make perhaps he has written something about us before you depart I started to organize a concert at the Musk <laughs> God damn it, in Vienna, I was able to convince a few illustri illustrious. <laughs> Can't speak or read this very well. Colleagues to offer their works. Read on. I had to call in many favors, but. A German name, <laughs> Mr. Schonberg, Mr. Berg, and Mr. Mahler have all agreed to participate. It will be a glorious evening, and your composition will be the centerpiece, the grand finale. Wilma, imagine it. I understand that this is all very abrupt, and for that I apologize. But now is your time. The musicians start rehearsal next week. The piece must be ready by then. In anticipation of your return, Arthur. A concert? W one week? Uh, how is this less pressure? Arthur, how could you? The storm is almost here. How am I supposed to write something if I can't go outside? I am trapped here with a storm outside and within me, silence. Well. Oh. By Professor Arthur. I can't know he had written a book. I didn't, oh, I didn't know he written a book. Telephone. He hello. I can't speak German. Jetem <laughs> Nekdol? Excuse me? Oh, German. Yes? Who is this? I, um, well, my name is Leos. Okay. Are you still there? Yes. Amazing. I wonder if... Are you close by? Where are you? Who do I tell him? I'd rather not say. In a different country? Or maybe even on a different continent? In a cloud. <laughs> I never would have dreamed of this. I was told you could speak over long distances, but to actually hear a voice, it's amazing. I can now finally talk to my niece, Nicole. What was that? Nothing. Nothing, I'm sure, my dear, but this noise is music in to my ears. I didn't hear anything. 
I heard that noise. I hear that noise every day when my guests come to me with empty bellies. Are you an innkeeper, Leos? I am. Best dumplings in all of Bohemia. Wonderful when they're fresh out of the pot with a rich, hearty sauce. Grumble, grumble. When you cut into one, the steam comes out. It sounds delicious. They are delicious. You have to come by one day so I can cook some for you. I wish I had some here right now. Of course you wish that. Oh, ho ho. I apologize. It sounded like you were very hungry. It was a pleasure talking to you, madam. Uh, huh. I'm very sorry. Where are my manners? I didn't even ask your name. M my name? Will you tell me your name? I'll tell you. Wilma. It was a pleasure to speak with you, Wilma. Say, do you think we can talk again sometime soon? They gave me a number, 1255. Maybe. I hope so. Goodbye, Leos. Goodbye, Wilma. Okay. Time for my sandwich. Munch, munch, munch. Crunch, 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 crunch. <laughs> it may not be a dumpling, but it tastes delicious. I'm so tired. It's just too much for my first day. Oh. That'd be so uncomfortable. Outside behind the buildings, the sun is rising. Besides, beside Wilma, someone stirs. Oh. What? Her. Wilma? Hey, are you awake? I am now. Oh, it's late. How did you get here? I was just... I have to leave. Something's wrong? Wait, something's wrong. I mean... This is what I wanted, but I really have to go. I'm expected in, at the Institute. We've been together such a short time. Ha ha ha. We've been together all night and we didn't get much sleep. Ha <laughs> ha. Did I learn my lesson well? Yes, and you are my student. We should not be together in the first place. Is that what we are? together? Distant church bells chime. Six o'clock? I am already late. What could be so urgent? Today I'm getting Schoenberg's contribution. I have to be there. It will be marvelous. Arthur, we should talk. Imagine the looks on their faces when your song is played. What are you doing? Imagine where you could be in a year. Stop. You're hurting me. The future of music. No. Ow. Arthur. No. Day two. It was a dream. Just a dream. Arthur, I was finally with you, but... I want, no, I have to write this composition, but how to start? Hmm. Come on, Wilma, concentrate. You're done, you've done this before. Anything could be inspiration. Go outside. How long will the storm continue? Go outside. Myself, anything could be inspiration. My bag. 
I don't need anything for my bag now. Where are the melodies hiding? Uh, my bag. Play a melody. Melody. Of course. I will just play. Music repeats itself. Motifs, melodies, and rhythms which Wilma has played many times before. Never really surprising. Almost boring. Almost boring. The B looked like an H. Ah, oh, stop. The tomes seem to linger long after. A reminder, a reminder of all the other times she's played. Never written harmonies. Maybe there's time is now. Hmm. Wilma writes the harmony down. What was that? That's what I was going to say just before she did. What was that? I can't hear melodies. This is in this din. There are several noises. I can't. A mighty booming. A blood curdling squealing. A relentless creaking. I can only create melodies if I have silence. Perhaps I can silence the noises. Block them out. I have to try. Uh, my violin. I can't hear the melodies. I got through this, whatever. Okay. Uh, deal with it? A hut supporting me. The wind rattles the cabin. The beam creaks. The fibers in the wood bend and snap. The noise is blurred. It fades away. Cabin door. It's locked. Uh, unfinished composition. The melodies are strange. Go outside. In the valley, the storm rages. With all the howling wind and pounding rain, how can I concentrate? Perhaps I can block the noises of the storm. The storm booms overhead. The rain and the wind are so loud, and I'm glad I don't have to be out there. Flowers. Strange. Why does Arthur have flowers here? Uh, because mountains. The mountains loom high above me. Vienna is somewhere beyond the mountains. Home is even farther. Poles? You can't tell from here. The telephone line goes. Rain. Each drop of water falls from far above. From far, from so far above, forming quietly, the droplets whooshes downward, falling at last, at last to earth, thundering on leaves, grass, stones. From there to my ears, the sound blurs and fades away, and suddenly it, it is quieter. One side. Door noises. God, fuck, that was so fun. I don't need anything from bang right now. I can't hear the noises in this din. This is left, blah blah blah. blah. Then play your violin. I can't hear the melody in this din. There's one noise left. I can't. Is it this? Set. The lamp, the wind shaking, the cabin makes it sway. The squeaking noise gets louder under her skin. It's back again, always audible even when it isn't. I can block it out. I know I can. The noise slowly fades, blurs, dissolves, and is gone. Huh. Finally, I can start writing. Fucking! Answer the call. Hello? Wilma? It's me, Leos. You remember me, yes? 
Yes, of course. Why are you calling? I, well, to be honest, I wanted to hear your voice again. Last time we talked about me, my niece, and about my dumplings, but I never asked about you. That was rude of me. You wanted to hear my voice? Why? Yes, it feels good to hear your voice. It reminds me of, of someone. Your niece? Nicole, yes. Some years ago, my sister and her husband asked me to look after her. They travel much of the year, but they do not believe she is strong enough to join them. Well, I tried to look after her, but where is she now? What happened? I just couldn't ma manage. I mean, I love her. We are, we were very close. By running the in and taking care of her, I couldn't do both at the same time. So I sent her back to her parents in Vienna. I think things are better this way. Is it better for her? I'm not sure. I like to think so, yes? Do you miss Nicole? Yes. She's like a daughter to me. Who looks after Nicole while her parents travel? A governess, I think. A certain fro Frost Mom. I don't know her. Why don't you call Nicole? I want to. That's the very reason why I got this machine. And then, well, you picked up. But I'm not completely sure it's a good idea to talk to me. Oh no. Haha. <laughs> ha, no. No, to call Nicole. I want to, but what do you think? If you don't, you might regret it. I, every hour, minute, second that passes. Keeping your feelings from someone you love is something you may regret later. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I can make it up to her somehow. But, but enough about me. What about you? Do you have family? What is your profession? My profession? I write music. Like a composer? Yes, I study composition. Any songs I would know? Not really, no. I've just started to make a name in Vienna. What are you doing in the mountains? Uh, my mentor said, Vilma, you'll find inspiration there. And is it working? There's a storm. It's raining. I feel trapped. Oh. For a minute, she hears a melody. Wait. What was that? What? I thought I had... I had heard something. You heard something? Just now? I did. What did you hear? Inspiration. I don't understand. Can you do that again? Do what again? Don't say anything. Eo was silent. No, that wasn't it. Keep talking. Fine, I am talking to you, Wilma. I will try to keep going, but I don't know what to talk about. Should I perhaps tell you about my dumplings again? I told you something about me. My profession. Yes, you are a musician. There it is again. Yes, that's it. What? A melody. I can hear a melody. Well, quick, write it down. Goodbye. Right. The notes disappear. Oh no, I nearly had it. You need to give me the melody sometime. It's quiet. Suddenly she hears the sound of his voice again. She's writing it. Thank you, Leos. 
I can barely keep my eyes open. No, oh, another dream. Sleepy time. Uh oh. It's cold. And wet. Huh? Where am I? Rain? Oh uh, well? Why? Why can't I move? I can't move. I'm paralyzed. That's creepy. The water is rising fast. And I can't move. Stones. Water drips down the stones. Damp stones. I can't get out that way. Oh. The rain. The water is rising. My feet. The mud grips them like dead hands. I've got to get out of here. Hello? Is someone down there? How? Is anyone down there? Yes, I'm down here. The rain is too loud. I can't hear you. Get me out of here. Can you climb up? No. My feet are stuck in the mud. How did you get down there? I can't remember. Don't panic. Hmm. It's difficult. It's a difficult problem. The water is rising. Please don't do something. The stones are slippery. I don't want to fall in. Wait. Here. Boma. I'll try to get help. How do you know my name? Wait. How do you know my name? I can't hear you. I will try to find help. Leos? That's creepy. Storm has gotten worse. That'd be a terrible dream. Day three. Just a dream? This is all too much. If only I could leave. No. I must finish the piece. I owe it to everyone. The melody. It's right on the tip of my brain. Wilma, concentrate. Huh? Another noise. Tick. Oh, I didn't read that. Oh no, not something else. Uh, the clock. Telephone. Can't hear the phone. Ticking. I have to find the source. The noise must be further up. The noise is coming from in there. I must find a way to get in there. Where could he have hid hidden a key? I need to find the source of that ticking. I need to find the damn key. Okay? It's ticking. Noise won't let me focus on the melodies. That's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to find a goddamn key. Oh, a drawer. I can't hear the melodies in this thing. A drawer. Give me a goddamn drawer. Another noise. I need to find the source, but it's freaking right here. I'm trying to tell you where the damn key is. And you're like, no. No. Go outside. Is the key outside? Forest. Where would that go? You guys saw it, right? God damn it. Something shimmers between those trees. You have to look very close to s closely to see it. But you can you can tell that it is there. Melody hidden between the layers of music. Thick forest. It's a wonder I didn't get lost. I'm going back inside and find where the ticking noise is and find the goddamn key. Ugh. Telephone? The ticking noise won't let me focus on the look. 
tell you to focus on the melodies. I can't hear the melodies again. Another noise. I need to find the source of the freaking right here. I must find a way to get in there. Where could, it, where could he have hidden the key in the goddamn drawers? Oh my god! Another noise. Yeah, I can get. Chicken will let me focus on. I need to find the key! <laughs> I must find a way to get in there. Where could he have hidden the key? <laughs> in the poetry collection? Music sheet? Must find a way to get in there. Where could he have hidden the key? Okay, now the drawers. I'm gonna scream! <laughs> the only thing that would make sense would be in the drawers! I can't. It's. Moving. Composition. I need to find the source of that ticking. <sighs> I'm gonna punch this game in the face if it won't let me find the goddamn key. I'm gonna go outside. Because the only way out is. Hmm. Why didn't Arthur leave? Just... Oh, here's a key. The one place I would not expect there to be a key, because the only other option for me to do is go outside, and that's what I did. Now can I get into the cabin? Oh, pocket watch. The pocket watch menu. I've got it. The ticks of the old watch shatter in her imagination. Fragments dissolve and gradually fade into silence. The composition, let's see. The composition is developing well. There are already several great passages, but still a lot to write. My violin, my old violin, despite the, its battered appearance, it still has the most beautiful tone. Music sheets. Only one sheet of paper left. Can I write it? Let's see. Composition is spelled in well. Okay. Telephone. I have no reason to make a phone call now. One letter. Author must have had a reason to lock this letter away. Read it. My beloved Arthur, I can hardly wait to see you again. The memory of your last visit was still hangs in the air. Like a note that, that after the orchestra has already unfinished lingers on, it fills me with dreams, feelings, and longings for you, reading. Sometimes I want to get away from Vienna. I want to travel with you across Europe and farther. With every year, one sense that was fine in the city what was worthwhile and grand now ebbing away ebb, ebb, ebbing <laughs> away the voices are sound the same the same these days just echoes from better times and long past read on vienna is losing itself but the 
city, it's people. They don't care. They see it to it's that things keep on as they are. Instead of doing something about it, I don't want to stand by to and watch. I hear Berlin is the future, full of beauty and hope. Let's go here there sometime. What do you think? Please tell me soon. Yours greet. Another one? Arthur? You've done this before? Anything could be an inspiration. Let's see. Another harmony would be beneficial. I need a med melody first. I need another rhythm, a change. I can still write a few variations. Sketches. Several figures are drawn in chaotic style. Many face facets of the same person. A melody formed in multi of multiple facets. She's writing it down. Mm, girl, you go. Composition. Let's see. Composition is developing well. There are already several great passages, but still a lot to write. Where are these melodies hiding? And six sheets, one mush, the left, a uh, pocket watch, an old pocket watch. No violin, spike the head. I clicked on the lamp and it made that noise. The flame flares up from time, time to time, struggling for air. A flickering, flaring rhythm for the composition. Yes, that's good. Okay. Continue on. I can barely keep my eyes open. God damn it, maybe I should sleep. But I don't want, I don't have enough time. Try to stay awake. No, I don't have enough time. I must try to stay awake. Her eyelids become heavier and heavier. In the haze of fate and fatigue, the notes in her music become a blur, and quietly, and quietly, quietly, new ones emerge. Uh, uh, a dream. Another dream! Yes, I keep scratching my nose a lot. What? What? It's dark. Answer the phone. Thank you. Hello? Yes? No, I'm not Leos. What do you want? Funny that you ask me that. What What do you mean? Have you ever heard ever thought about what you want? to be success successful. Ah, uh, that's more like it. It's me! <laughs> At last, we're talking about what you want. I believe you, I believe you can be successful. But what are you going to do to achieve that success? I will write music. Oh, I did not read that. Good. Well, you had... You had better get back to work then. Vienna deserves to hear your music. Oh, Jesus. Whispering. The storm. It's here. Oh, no. No, no. No. The storm. The thunder. Lightning. Can I block the mouth? Go away! No! It doesn't work this time! Eh. Uh. Eh. Uh. uh. Just play music. I hope the cavern will survive the storm. Be there. Please be there. I hope 
<laughs> what was the number he told me? Oh, fuck. 1255. Please be there, please be there, please be there. Hello? Oh, thank God, Leo, that you're there. Wilma, is that you? Oh, God. I'm so glad you're there. Calm down, calm down. What is it? It's all too much. What was that? Thunder. Real thunder. This time, not on my stomach. The storm is here. I am so afraid. The thunder. Ah. D don't worry. I'll... I'll do... Uh, it'll be alright. J just focus on my voice. Yes, your voice. Can you hear me? Yes, you're definitely not whispering. You're right. I'm yelling. What does my voice sound like? Stressed. Yes, I guess you're right. But still, I'm here. Uh, you were not the whispering at the top of the well. Who? I had a dream. I was drowning in a well. Someone came, but then they ran away. N not me? I would have helped you. I know. And it wasn't my father either. He wouldn't abandon me. And Arthur, Arthur was never mine. Oh God, it was. Myself. Me. I was running away from myself. I was running away from my composition. It was an important dream. What is that doctor's name in Vienna? Freud? Exactly. He could approve of your interpret... Interpret... I think yes. Yes. You remember how you talked to me into calling Nicole? I did? I called her. I did it. I am a stubborn old... Shek. Haha. <laughs> I called her anyway. What did she say? She was overjoyed. She said that I should visit her as soon as possible. Can you believe it? I'm glad. I simply had to call her. The silence was followed. The silence that followed our last call. As soon as your voice was gone, I was rem I remembered of how lonely I really am. Are you still feeling lonely? Not anymore. Not when I'm talking to you. I'm glad that I can talk to you. Me too. Music. She writing that down. Haha. <laughs> are you still there? Yes, still here. What are you doing? Just listening to you breathe. What about the storm? Still here too. I it no longer disturbs you. No. Wonderful. I can finish the song now. It is a song of courage, of being yourself and facing the shadows. May I hear it? I will play it for you on my violin. Hmm. Hmm. Pretty. Wonderful. No, I'm not done, but soon. Until soon, then. Farewell, Wilma. Farewell, my friend. Composition is developing well. There are already several great passages, but still a lot to write. And let's see. My favorite poem is in here. Panther by Rainer Marie. His gaze against the sweeping of the bars has grown so weary it can hold no more to him there's 
there seem to be a thousand bars. And behind those thousand bars, no world. A dark, strong beast trapped in a cage. The sound of a seckled piano. Behind it, silence. Ooh, she's coming up with a bunch of music. Is that it? Let's see. Another har harmony would be beneficial. I can still write a few variations. Arthur writes here about a phenomenon called tonal diversity by building certain relationships between the notes. The same note can suddenly sound quite different when heard again. It seems as if Arthur was talking to her directly. His writing is so clear, so similar to the way he speaks. She imagines him lecturing to his students. He pauses not once, but many times. He turns to her and smiles. Wilma focuses on his lovely smile. She feels warmed by his smile, as if only she could see it. A shimmering chord, and now a part of the composition. Hmm. I can't wait to hear what she comes up with. What was that? That was the last sheet of music paper. But there's still something left to write. The finale. There has to be some space for a few notes. No. There who where will I get something to write on? Uh worn. I need staff paper. Sketches? There's no more space on it. I need a blank paper. My bag? I don't need it. Outside, I need staff paper. I can't write on this. Why doesn't Arthur have blank staff paper? Everything changes. No, I need paper staff paper. Both. There is text on both sides. I can't use this either. I need staff paper. Hmm. The back of Arthur's composition is clean. I need the paper. I'm sorry, Arthur. Just looking at her music lifts her mood. This is my best work so far. Melodies flow through her mind while the rain falls on the cabin. Now, a dedication for my mentor, for my friend, for Leos. A good friend to a difficult time, the best listener from Vienna to Rome. May he listen to the song, the song someday. May he listen to the song, the song someday. So far, this. The Lion Song. The name of the game, the Lion Song. Ooh. Vienna, Great Hall of the... Not saying that. The auditorium of the... Green is packed. The composition by Schoenberg, Mahler, and the others have already been played. The mood is tense. Expe expectant. Seems as if the whole city of Vienna is here. But now it's not time to be nervous. To be quiet. The lion song. The sound of melodies free themselves from the instruments. Whirl in the flaming dance above the audience. I was gonna be quiet, but I guess there's words. Form pictures of familiar faces and places. to calm bright spot. A 
and seen far away, all of a sudden muffled as if heard through falling snow. Then burning with a desire to break free, cleaved into facets clean and sharp edged. Now peaceful like a warm voice from far away. Comforting. It's changed. to the sense of hope for someday. Someday. Ah, oh, beautiful. Clap, clap. I can't read it. Ah. Oh. As the curtains fall, Wilma leaves the stage. and disappears be behind countless mu musicians. Finn, good job, good job, woohoo! Oh no. Wait, what am I doing? Sound effects and music. What was that? <laughs> okay. Okay, that was just a decision from a bunch of other people. Got 90% also revealed Wilma's name to Leo's 73% all advised Leo to call Nicole as well. 61% tried pushing through the sleep as well. 44% said they wanted to be successful as well. 59% also called Leo's at last time. A last time. Well, that was episode one of A Lion Song. And I, it was a really beautiful game, even though some of it was hard to read and I don't speak German, so some of it I couldn't read. <laughs> like, you know, whatever. Um, but I will eventually get episode two or three and then when four comes out I'll eventually get that but it might come not weekly not daily it might be monthly but you will see when it comes out and I hope you enjoyed so thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye bye